Hello and welcome to the Outpost RV. My name is Jeremy, our cameraman is Henry, and today we're gonna to take a look at the Wolfpack 23 Pack 15. The last part of that Pack 15 means that it comes with a 15 foot garage. As we get started up front here, you'll notice it comes with a power tongue jack with an LED light so you can see what's going on if it's nighttime. Two 20 pound LP tank bottles with the hard shell cover and the quick access lid. And those will be filled by the Outpost RV. Group 27 deep cycle marine battery. We do have the juice pack option on this camper, which means there's a 50 watt solar panel on the roof, as well as the battery that comes with it. We have the- Also the 100 watt expansion. Thank you, yes. We also have the 100 watt expansion solar up top, which means there's actually a total of 150 watts of solar on this camper already. Diamond plate rock guard with the curved radius front end here. We do have the gel coated fiberglass sidewall, nice and heavy duty. Underneath with your storage, we do have the tie downs in here. So that way if you're putting anything in here, um, you can actually secure that and tie it down to the floor. Underneath we have an LP quick disconnect. So that way if you are out camping, you wanna take your favorite grill with you, you simply tap it in right there and that will use the gas on the camper instead of taking an extra bottle. With the electric jacks, we have them front and back. There's a switch right here and how that operates, you will run the jacks down. One leg will come down and hit first, the other one will come down, they will equal out in pressure. That is designed to stabilize the camper for you. Moving back, you'll notice the very large 20 foot power awning with the blue accent LED lights here. Each leg is adjustable, so if it's uh, the sun's going down, a really light rain, you can adjust the pitch of the awning here. We will have ventilation for the camper. There's a vent right here. There's also gonna be one in the back on the other side, so if you have something with fumes inside, you can keep that vented as you're going down the road. Three steps getting into the camper. They are the sturdy steps with adjustable feet on both legs. Oversized grab handle. We have your black tempered glass entrance door, very sharp, a lot of compliments on that. It also comes with an integrated window and the full size screen door here. Outside entertainment um, system with your speakers here. Your TV bracket is the same one that's on the inside. So you simply lift your TV up, bring it out here and slide it in. And then your TV connections and 110 outlet. We are pet friendly. We have your leash latch here so the furry family members can come along. Down below, each wheel has self-adjusting brakes on here. We do have the aluminum rims. The center cap is popped off so you can see it as the quick easy loop axle. There is also a tire pressure monitoring system where the side will turn red if you're low on air. So I will unscrew this one to demonstrate. So you can just walk around and do a visual check before you head off for your next destination to make sure your tires are good. Back here, we have your fuel station. It is a 30 gallon fuel station. Um, your fuel pump will turn on and off right here and also show you how much fuel is in the tank. You'll notice the nozzle looks just like what you'd have at the gas station. So if you did add the generator to the camper, that will run the generator or it's just a fuel station so you can fuel up your ATVs and anything you take with you. Another leash latch in the back here. As we move around to the back side, you'll notice we have the ramp door patio system already set up for you. It's a fantastic spot, really opens up the camper, lets in a lot of sunlight, a lot of airflow. We option in the patio steps, so that way you can actually utilize the patio here on and off very easy. Up top, you'll notice we have the LED porch light as well as the backup camera. The backup camera is standard. That is included with the camper. Right here is the other vent for that cross ventilation. Down below, we have a sewer hose holder, so you can store that while you're traveling down the road. This is a 30 amp unit. It comes with a 25 foot detachable power cord. As we move to the front up here, we have your water heater. It is a six gallon DSI water heater standing for direct spark ignition, so you don't have to light it. It will ignite itself. The electric switch is actually right out in the corner here underneath this panel. The gas switch is gonna be on the inside and you can get up to 10 gallons of hot water if you're running it gas or electric, and up to 16 gallons if you run gas and electric together. We have your furnace right here, cable satellite connection, so if you're at a campground that offers that, you just tap right into it. Outside shower with hot and cold water, this is a low pressure spray port. We also have a high pressure spray port down here, and that's gonna be more for like cleaning off your four wheeler or something like that. We have your black tank flush right here, so when you're done camping for the week or weekend, you simply fill, uh, hook up your water hose here and that will blast out the black tank for you. Underneath, we have your water fill station. The left side will fill the 100 gallon fresh water tank that's on the camper. 
And then if you're dry camping or boondocking, you can just turn on the water pump to use that water. On the right hand side with your city water connection, if you're at a campground or at your house, you hook a water hose up right to there and that will pressurize the lines for you. And then last but not least, we'll just be another look at the other side of the, I apologize, not the pass-through storage. This is where the generator would go. They all come generator prep, so the wiring's there, but it is also a nice sealed compartment box for extra storage over here. And that concludes our walkthrough of the Wolfpack 23 Pack 15. Now we'll head to the inside. As we move to the inside, you'll notice there's a lot of counter space here. That is one compliment we receive over and over again on this model, as well as the slide room, just making it so much nicer in here. Lots of room in the center. As we get started right inside the entrance door, we have your voltmeter up top since we have the solar installed, slide room and awning switch, light switches down below, and we do have your radio over here. It is AM FM and Bluetooth compatible, so you can sync your phone to it and play music that way. Cabinets up top, the zebra blinds, very sharp look where they can either be halfway open to let some light in or darkened out like it is here. We have your bed lift system back here. So you can get bunk beds where that top bunk will come down. The two couches can turn into another bed or you can have it set up as couches just like this. And you'll be able to see the different positions with our pictures online. Ramp door patio system, here's a good look from the inside. Right up top, you'll notice rolled up, there is a screen wall that will unroll so you can keep the bugs out of here if you have the patio system down. Again, you'll see that with our pictures online. Couple outlets on this wall. That is a window. It has the darkening shade over it that will button on. So that way if you have certain toys back here and you want to keep it nice and dark so no one can see in, you simply put that up. Kitchen slide room. We have the 11 cubic refrigerator that is 12 volt, which is why we have the extra solar up top. Three burner stove with the glass prep space. That glass top will fold back when you are cooking. It is an oven as well. The wooden backsplash also doubles as a cutting board, so that will pull off storage drawers and a cabinet down below, range vent to the outside and your microwave up top. Over here we have extra storage space. Your TV will go up top right there. Underneath that to your right hand side is actually your thermostat. That is your digital thermostat where you can run your air conditioner and furnace. Another 110 outlet, lots of counter space single bowl sink with the high-rise faucet it's also equipped with a pull-out sprayer and the sink has the cover so you can use that as prep space over on the side we have your heated 12 volt um, tank heaters so that way you can flip that top switch on and that will keep your tanks nice and warm we have your um, tank monitors down below also where you would turn on the gas side of the water heater and also your water pump. So you can check the levels of your tanks there, see how full and empty your black, gray, and fresh water tanks are. Here's a look at this vent from the inside of the camper that can open up to give you that cross ventilation as you're traveling down the road. Moving through the hallway into the bathroom area, we have a very tall ceilings here in the wolf pack, so it makes the bathroom nice and tall here. Vent fan. We have your medicine cabinet, your vanity with a very large sink here, extra storage down below. The toilet is at an angle here. We have your corner shower with the skylight above it as well, making it uh, feel even more open in here. But corner showers are great, always gives you um, extra room. And one nice feature Wolfpack does is they also put an extra medicine cabinet right over here beside the shower. So you actually get two medicine cabinets inside the bathroom area. As we move into the bedroom now, it will come with the um, pack king size bed. We have a TV hookup right over here in the corner. So if you wanted to add one, the connections are here. 
and the TV backer will be here as well. We have hanging storage on both sides of the bed. Those will have a mirrored front door. Down below where you'd put the TV, we have your 12 volt cutoff switch and where your breakers and your fuses and converter sits. 110 power, you'll have that on both sides of the bed here. There's the hanging closet door. We have storage up above with door fronts. So you can actually use that as storage as you're going traveling down the road. Another hanging closet on the side with 110. And right above that is gonna be a docking space where you can buy a portable speaker and charge it there. But there's also 12 volt charge ports built into that dock. So you can use it as a 12 volt charger, even if you don't have the speaker itself. And that will conclude the walkthrough on our Wolfpack 23 Pack 15. I appreciate you guys watching. If you have any questions, feel free to contact myself or Henry at 866-338-9845. Thank you and have a great day.